still is not up to snuff my goodness i have been sneezing all freaking morning <coughs> still got this stupid cough whatever it is what it is it's monday back to work today today's color is can you guess it's white <laughs> i have on my milky quartz star and i have my really super cute earrings brayden got these for me for christmas like two or three years ago, well, maybe two years ago, maybe two years ago. Um, I don't really like post earrings, but these are the only ones that I'll wear. So, and they're like half hoops. Cause y'all know me. I like my, um, ankle holders. So my lips are still so chapped. So even though this is hazardous from the Yuka app, oh my gosh, that app makes you not want to use anything. Have you guys used it yet? Since I was talking about it on the live stream. And I think I did it in the vlog too. Didn't I do it in the vlog? Did I, do, I think I did both on the live stream and the vlog. Um, I really don't, this is what I'll do. I don't use these that often. I'll use this one cause I don't want to use my good. And eh, no, I don't want to use that one. Let's say what we got here. No, that's too dark. I'll use this one it's a lip it's a lip balm it's supposed to have look he just has glitter on the outside and then once you use it the glitter is off thought it was like inside but it's not so I'm just gonna do like the lip balm because chap lips dried lips from blowing my fucking nose every five minutes okay um and i've been putting this on my face at night in the aquaphor which i have aquaphor upstairs and i've been putting it here because this is like the worst and it's still like super dry okay now also i have not had a headache in a week well other than the cold so i guess that's a lie but um i felt fine but as soon as I get to work, like within 15 minutes of being there, I always end up with a headache and I have a headache the whole day. And then I come home, I drink coffee and my headache goes away. So it's something with work, like that whole building, it just needs to be like torn down and built up again, but whatever. Um, okay. So let's run through my makeup look real quick here. Let me give you a quick, here we go. Here's today's makeup look, something sweet and easy. So um, I'll go down the quick rundown because I have to finish getting ready for work. Um, <coughs> I started with, is that wifey already? I started with my Star Yak, um, my Star Ranch palette. Um, I went in first with Yak Farm. I started with this color and I put that from my crease up to my eye, my brow bone. And then over top of it, I used owl eyes because I have like the gold on my shirt. So I put the owl eyes over top of it. And then in the crease, I put a little bit of Wyoming and then open range. So I used these four colors in this palette. So that's what I started with. Then of course, on my lid, I ended up putting my, uh, um, I, ugh, I don't know if that's being wonky. So then, of course, on my lid, I used my white, um, uh, what is this shit called? Concealer. I always start with my regular skin cone. I'm broken. I'm glitching. I'm so sorry. My skin tone concealer and then I put the white on my lid for the colors to stick and pop like a little bit more so because it's white I really wanted it to like be bright um so on my lid I used my 24 karat highlight palette for the gold I used the Liberace color down here this gold I put on my lid from like here over like quarter of it and then for the white corner I ended up using I busted out my conspiracy palette and I used the color 
ranch. That's the only color that I used in there. And that's what is in my corner. Sometimes it's hard to get white, but I see, I like shimmers. I'm like a shimmer girl. I like the shimmers. So, um, I could have used like some of the colors in the cremated palette, the color, like it's just, uh, I don't know how, like it just falls apart it's not like pressed so they look pressed and then you go to like put it on your brush and it's just like pieces I don't know how to like explain it and I'm not really fond of those kinds of glitters and stuff like that I like a good pressed shimmer like where I put it on my brush and it's going to be sparkly you know what I'm saying like I don't know I don't know how else to explain it so then I went in my weirdo palette and of course I used the glamour shot and the weirdo colors so the white when I put the concealer on I use the white eyeshadow immediately so that way the um concealer when it's wet it doesn't like go all over my fucking eyeball and so I've had it down so that way I can put the color over top of it and then um so yeah so then I did that and of course I used the black for my wing and then I went back in my 24K palette and I used Dark Horse over top of the um, color I used in the Star Yak Ranch palette. And then I used whatever word this is <laughs> on top of the lid here, except for in the corner. So I used in this palette, I used uh, Liberace, Dark Horse, and whatever the fuck that word is. Um, so I used those three colors in that palette. And then just for the white, my tried and true, my most favorite palette or highlight palette, I used um, Ice Cold. I used that in the, cr in the corner and I pulled it up here and then I put it here, here, nose, all that good stuff. And we set it. I used the NYX Bear With Me setting spray. I might put a little bit more on. And I actually need to order some more Maybelline. I really like this mascara, this Lash Plumping Mascara. I bought this at um, TJ Maxx, the Colossal. I don't, I don't like that one. I don't like that one. So, yeah. I would use my telescopic, but sometimes it makes my eyes water. So, and we're not about that life. I have enough issues with my eyes watering sometimes. Uh, we need a fragrance for today. I think I'm just going to go with my Cuddle Team Leader. My Fortnite Cuddle Team Leader. She's my favorite skin in Fortnite. She's an OG. Alright. So, wifey's on her way home from the gym. So, I need to go get some shoes on. Oh, this is just my outfit. I just have on this the sweatshirt my favorite ripped jeans i got slippers on right now but i'm gonna change into my lauren conrad clogs that i just slip in i'm gonna wear my brown ones actually should i wear those or should i wear my white you know what fuck that i'm wearing these because today's color is white so i'm gonna wear these my guests my guest shoes so also quick note um I am going, so you guys know the little silicone thing that I got yesterday from Amazon for my toesies? Yeah, I totally forgot I had it on yesterday and I woke up this morning to go get in the shower because today's hair wash day. And um, I was like, what is on my foot? So I totally forgot about it. So I just put my shoe on and I don't notice anything. So, and it wasn't like uncomfortable. So we'll see how today goes. I will let you all know when I get home at the coffee pot how my tootsie is. Because usually I cannot wait to get home to change my shoes. And I can't find, so I have this Milky Quartz, but I also have it in a moon. I have to fix my badge too for work because it broke. Um, I need to fix some, some of my necklaces. I do, I do. Like the cord that this one was on broke. And then best friend got me this for Christmas. 
and I need to put that on a chain too. It's all my blue stuff, like all my blue stuff braids. Like what is up with that? Like this broke the other night too. Maybe it's just like sucking up the energy or something and it's like, cause that's sometimes what happens and I have to fix my anklet. <sighs> all right, what earrings or what? I think I'll wear my heart glasses today. Cause if I don't wear my glasses to work, I'll wear my heart ones today. I like my rainbow ones, but today's just kind of like white and gold. So I really, wait, uh, wifey got, let me put some lotion on. This is the Jeffree Star, um, oh, the Jeffree Star, Jeffree Star body, lo body lotion. <laughs> um, it's the uh, Espresso Shop body lotion. So I just put like a little bit on. So just put it, cause my hands get so dry in the winter. So I have to pack my lunch. Um, really quickly, I just gotta get my salad out of the fridge. I need to put all of my jewelry on. Did I ever show you guys all my ring? Okay, so this ring I wear, I don't know how well you guys can see it. It is a triple moon goddess. I wear that on my middle finger. This is my spinner ring that wifey got me and it has moons and stars on it. And I sit there in class and I spin it and I can always tell when it's backwards because it spins and then me and wifey have the same ring and I wear that on my ring finger on my right hand this is my clotta ring because I am also Irish so I put that on my middle finger over here this is my set that hubby got me for Christmas this year. It is another triple moon goddess with a red ruby in the middle. And then that's like the band that came with it. It's like a wedding set. So he got me a new one for Christmas. So that of course goes on my ring finger. This one, this little moon phase one goes on my pinky. I don't know if I've ever showed my rings. This one with the triquetta, I'd probably say that wrong goes on my other pinky this is a i've had this forever look it's like the shape of my finger that goes on my thumb this oh wrong thumb <laughs> it's been a while it's been a while since i had to get ready for work um this one is my wave that i got at ocean city and this one my mom got me many 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 moons ago and it just says ray and that goes on my pointer finger. Believe it or not, I was so fat. Well, you guys know I used to be like over 400 pounds. This actually used to fit on my ring finger. Like it used to fit like over there. Like it wouldn't fit like and it was tight. But now it's on my biggest finger. And it's like I still have room in there. So that's like crazy to me. Like some of these rings like I would wear on my pinkies and stuff because that's how big my fingers were. So, but all right, guys, I will see you guys when I get home from work. I love you guys and peace. What is up, good people? I am home. I am home. I'm not going to chat long because foodie beauty is raging about Mr. Snowflake's documentary. And I've been seeing in my Discord that I'm in. They're all talking about it. And I'm like, I just want to go home and watch it. Can we just speed up this day? Like, damn you, foodie. Don't you know what time I get off of work? <laughs> but yeah. So I am making my coffee bee and all that good stuff. We have skinny mixes coming. So they should be here tomorrow or Wednesday. I need to blow my nose. Hold on. Okay. I am home, home again, home again, jiggity jig. Oh, let me tell y'all something. My sweet children at work. I was bum rushed this morning. As soon as I turned the corner, like in the main hallway and some of the kids saw me, Miss Ray, and they started hugging me. And they're like, where have you been? And then even some of the teachers were like, dang, like I haven't seen you. Like, where have you been? Are you okay? And I was just like, yeah, you know, da da. And um, I told them I was sick and I was talking to the other teacher, the one teacher, and I was telling her like how I was sick and she's like, oh my God, we had the same thing. 
she was just like, cause, cause she, apparently she was out last week too. And she's like, we had the same exact thing. <coughs> I was like, mm. I said, it was rough. It's like last week was rough. And they're like, you still sound sick. I said, I know. And then when I went to go sign in this morning, um, the secretary had asked me how I was doing. And she's like, you didn't go to the doctor. And I was like, no, like, I know I'm not the only person who just doesn't go to the doctor. Like, I physically know when I may need a doctor, like when I may need more than just a natural healing, letting it run its course. You know what I'm saying? Like, I will know when I'm like, hmm, I probably need an antibiotic. Like when I get certain pains and stuff, like believe it or not, I had a terrible sinus infection for a long time and apparently like it like my neck had hurt for like a week or two and i was just like and it would like switch sides did you know a sinus infection can make your neck hurt because i was getting pains in my jaw and like all in the back of my neck and they were like yeah it's a sinus infection i was like what in your neck they're like yeah i was like shit so sometimes when i get sick and i have neck pain i know i def it's like a major thing and I'll call my doctor or send a message like I have a really bad sinus infection and it's not going to go away on its own um you know because I told her I said well I said I thought for maybe a while I might have had um pneumonia because um do you want treats you want treat oh look at you guys you want treats um because my ribs and like my my stomach and my back were hurting when I would like cough and stuff but it's like I could breath I could breathe fine come on <coughs> come on But yeah, so the kids miss me. I got a big welcome back at the beginning of class. They all sang to me. So I was super grateful to be back. So. Uh, but yeah, apparently a lot of people are getting sick. And or are sick at work so there's something definitely going around but on that note i'm going to watch foodie rage so that's what i'm gonna go do i kind of want a snack but i don't know what i want i want a snack all right i'll see you all after bed what is that friends it is five o'clock wifey just left to get her nails did I need to call my girlfriend and see when she wants to get ours done. But I kind of want a little snack before dinner. And I have been wanting one of my Pop-Tarts, so I'm gonna make one. Oh my gosh. So there's four, is there two in each pack? Or is it just one? What is the serving size? One pastry, oh, okay, it's just one. All right, so I'm going to show you what it looks like. Look at that. Okay, I'm going to put it in the toaster, though. And I'm going to toast it. Okay. Let me tell you guys. Foodie Booty makes me fucking angry, okay? First of all, the Mr. Snowflake documentary isn't different than anybody else, okay? Than any other reaction channel. I, myself, am not a reaction channel because I have ADHD, and you know what, there's like, I know people haven't said this to me personally, but I have seen it said to other people and I really hope people don't think like that. My comments are always usually based on things that have like personally happened to me because that's how I like compare situations and stuff. Like I, I use a situation that is similar that I've been through and I like compare it because it's like, 
oh, I like I sympathize or I get it. You know what I'm saying? But also because of my ADHD, I can't focus. I have to watch first and then think on it and then comment. So what is up with my eyeball right there? Oh my god. Oh my god. Anyway. Um <laughs> so yeah. Foodie makes me so fucking angry. She was caught. She was caught buying subs, okay? Fucking caught. Like, it's so stupid. And YouTube is not going to give her a fucking plaque because her account's been suspended. I'm waiting for the ban evasion error because she's going to stream on her other channels and she's going to start... She's not going to stop YouTube even if she if her channel gets deleted. Because if your channel gets deleted, that's it. You're done. But she's probably going to use her couple's channel or even create a new channel or go over to Twitch. You know, she's... Uh, I don't know. But, like, and my thing is I don't want to see her lose her channel. I personally just, like, she needs a taste of her own medicine. medicine. She needs to be temporarily demonetized. Now... Do I think that's right either? I mean, I know it's how she makes her living and I don't really want to see anybody lose their channel and I really don't want to see anybody demonetized to be like, unless you're doing some fucked up shit. Like, I feel like Eugenia Cooney, in order for her to learn her lesson, be demonetized. Do you see what a fucking mess she was with TikTok? TikTok's the only one. She's promoting self-harm. Foodie promotes self-harm. You know what I mean? <clears throat> and she's just evil and vile you know like and she sit there and she's trying to rewrite history and she's hiding behind the hijab she's hiding behind islam she's hiding behind the religion that she doesn't give two fucking shits about she doesn't care about that where the fuck's her husband it was like what one of one of uh midnight to one o'clock in the morning and she's raging where the fuck is where's salah Where's Salah Foodie? He's not fucking there. Your days are numbered. It is what it is. I'm sorry. Like, it's... And I, like, and I watched Mr. Snowflake's video last night. Let me tell you something. He took her own words. How she said it. How she presented it. How can you deny that? They're your own fucking words. What you said. And he just gave his opinion about it. And it's just about, I never did this and I never did that. What do you mean? You said it. There was proof. And the whole part about, okay, now, let me know down in the comments if I got this wrong. Because I was shocked when it was said and I caught it and I just wanted, like, I wanted to make sure I heard this right. She had an abortion when she was 24 weeks. A full term, that's like more than halfway through your pregnancy. Because halfway is 20. She was over her pregnancy. 20, did they, did she say 26 weeks? Because that I'm still flabbergasted about. Because if that, I swear it said 26 weeks. And if it said she was 26 weeks and had an abortion, that is awful. Okay. You know, I support abortion. It is a woman's body. It is what it is, but I know like here in my state, you have to do it within your first trimester. Once you're over 12 weeks, you can't do it. It has to be within the first trimester. She was in the second trimester. If not go, no, uh, going into, no, not going into third. She was in her second trimester. 20, 26 weeks. Did she say 24 or 26? I swear she said that. That is, you find out the sex of your baby at 18. At 18 weeks, you can find out. That had an idea. Oh, if that is actually what she said, I'm like flabbergasted. I'm sorry. She is she is worse than Amber. Amber's a horrible person, Amber Lynn. I root more for Amber than I do Foodie. And I have followed Amber. Now, I just recently unsubscribed from her because of the whole Casey shit. Granted, it's old shit, but I just, I can't. Amber is so fake too. Amber is so fake, but I still root and pull for Amber. Oh my God. All the icing dripped off of it. Um, but yeah, I pull, I pull hard. Like I, I used to not as much, not as much as I used to pull hard for Amber, but foodie is just so fucking just and every fucking thing and every person she comes in contact, everything turns to shit. 
everything turns to shit. Like, look for the sub, like, look at the sub for sub scam. What happened to that? They're like, oh, please, Miriam, I'm getting hate and I'm getting this and that because I support you. And she's like, oh, I'll do what I can. Or, sorry, I don't, I don't, I can't read um, Arabic. Bitch. Mm. Fucking ridiculous. Ridiculous she is. Okay. So I got my little pastry here. A minute. We'll cut it open. It's like really hot. I can't really. I'm gonna open it a little bit. There we go. Oh yeah, look at that. See? Ooh. Hello. Okay. Ooh. This is the only good one. It's delicious. Oh. I just got... Oh, I just got... Mm, sugar on the neck. Mmm. That's gross. I'll clean that up in a minute, but... Mmm. So good. Mmm. Should I be like foodie? Mmm. But yeah. She's a she's bile. I really hope Neo Taro stuff comes true. I really do. I hope somebody comes to visit her and they ship her ass off. And then what? And then what, foodie? They do they have urgent cares and stuff in um, Canada? Because I know here our urgent cares they have doctors and stuff. I wonder if she can go to what urgent care. I don't know. Foodie's a mess. She needs to just fuck off she does and for people to defend her, her chat i always feel like her chat has two different kinds of people the ones that egg her on and who are trolls who are like the positive trolls they egg her on they get her ramped up they defend her they don't really defend her i have seen people posting her people in her chat talking mad shit about her and not even the new muslim stuff i've seen it elsewhere too They'll sit there and be like, oh, foodie, I love you. Or, oh, Chantel, this, 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 that, and the third. I'm talking about her like a dog on other forums. Mm-hmm. So, in her chat, you have people with false hype, falsely hyping her up. Then you have just the regular trolls. And then you have the actual psychos who truly, genuinely support her. And that messy girl in her chat, I say watch out for her. That messy girl. I bet you she's the next one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What's up, good people? Ouch. So, tonight for dinner, I am going to be making sausage dip stuffed peppers. What is keto? Well, it's actually keto. It is a very keto dinner. It is keto stuffed peppers. I feel like I've made these before. I used to make them all the time, but I haven't actually made them in a while. And because I slept so late yesterday and I was legitimately going to make... It literally the sausage dip and sausage gravy, the keto sausage gravy that I make is the same fucking thing. So call it what you want. I just know when I originally found this recipe, it was called sausage dip, but I use it as sausage gravy. And that's what I was going to make 
Sunday for breakfast, but I slept so fucking late. So I never made breakfast, which worked out anyway because wifey left and had to go do hair and stuff. So I have a roll of sausage. Sorry, you hear FFG in the background. I'm not turning her off. I love FFG. I do. I love Breezy. I love FFFG. FFFG. I love Breezy. I love FFFG. I love a whole bunch of reaction channels. FFG reminds me of my aunt so much with like the accent. It's so funny how she sounds like a Jersey girl, but she's like true blue Canadian. Boggles my mind. Anyway, so um, I'm going to take a roll of sausage and I'm going to start cooking this up. So that's the first step. Okay, so my sausage is cooking. I have a, I'm trying to be all cool. Wait a minute, hold on and a block of cream cheese. <laughs> Seriously, a block of cream cheese. You are gonna need this. So I have it uh, sitting on my stove so it can soften a little bit. Not that it's really gonna matter. And preheat your oven to 350. And then I got some, I got some peckers here. And I also have a pot on the stove. These are huge. They're like, huge okay so I have a pot of water and my sausage is cooking okay we'll let that come up to a boil I'm gonna cut these sausages you can cut them one or two ways you can either cut the top and stuff it that way which I'm mm, do I want to do that I might do that or you can cut them what I usually do is I cut them in half and put them in that way so either way, like depending on how you want it. So I have four, four peppers. Did you guys ever, were you ever told the difference? I don't know if somebody was pulling my leg. I don't know. Cause I was just like, what does that have to do with anything? You know how some peppers, like, like the green peppers, they'll either have like four feet or three four I think is a girl and three is the boy like male and female because you know there's like male and female plant uh plants and stuff you can tell the difference between them like I'm not bullshitting like my mom used to try to create her own petunias and take she would slice the 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 roots or twist them or the seeds or whatever she would do and like put them together she used to do all kinds of shit but she's like you have to find a male and a female and you have to do this and you have to do i don't fucking know but i remember somebody telling me you know the difference between a male and a female pepper I'm like what the fuck are you talking about a male and female pepper they're like yeah males have three feet or and or three bumps on the bottom and females have four I don't know. If you've ever heard this before, let me know. But these all have five. Well, that one's got like four. And this one, I don't know what's going on with that one. But I don't know. It was just something I was told when I was little. It could be stupid. Somebody could have just been fucking with me, which could have been. But I do remember that. And every time I like look at peppers, I like kind of chuckle. And I'm just like, oh, let's get all the girls, you know. But I don't, I genuinely don't know even if there's any truth to that. And I could probably Google it. But I don't feel like it's that serious. And has anybody else ever heard that? And the only time I ever think about it is when I have actual peppers like this. So, I don't know. And I'm still debating on how I want to cut them. I'm really debating. Mm, I don't know. Because these are huge. Okay, so I have all of my... I decided to go this way. So I have six peppers. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them, now that the water is boiling, and I'm going to boil these. Because... But not, like, soft. Because you still want them to be firm. The thing is, you don't cook or you don't bake them long enough for them to get like super soft see i put them all in the boiling water just like that so the water or when you bake them they're not gonna be they're still gonna be crisp so um 
so even when you bake them, it's not going to be like, they're not going to be like super soft. Does that make any sense? But if you want them like a little bit soft, boil them for a few minutes. Like, I guess it's like a flash boil or something. I don't know. I'm just telling you. <laughs> All right. So my sausage is cooking. It's almost cooked pretty much. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to spice it up. I'm going to add this caramelized onion burger. This shit is so delicious. Caramelized onion burger. And some black pepper because I love pepper. I do. And then, oh, that is a lot of pepper. And then I'm going to add a little bit of garlic and minced onion as soon as I find the minced onion. So I'm going to add that real quick. All right, so I got my seasonings in here. Okay, so we're just going to stir this up. So now I have it on a low heat and now I'm going to add my brick or block of cream cheese. Just put the whole damn thing in. And with the sauce. Okay, so this is gonna be pretty thick. So what I do is I just keep adding milk. This is 2%. So I just keep adding milk in here until it like starts to thin out. And I just turn the heat off of my peppers. So I'm gonna take them out in a minute. Okay. And then he Alright, so my peppers are done. I will never understand. Where's my Oh my god, I couldn't find these. Okay. I find you just so dumb. So I'm gonna take my peppers out. And then shake them real good. Well we know that they're nice and soft. Like not soft soft. Alright. She can literally address it calmly once and then move right along. Because she knows that she's telling the truth. She's okay. Like a baseline for the truth behavior on that day. We know she's lying right now because of how angry she is. If All everything right. that was said in the documentary wasn't true, she would have just on her next live stream. Like it wouldn't have even been a thing. She would have popped on her next live stream. Someone in the chat would have been like, "Where did you see the this stuff like documentary?" She would have been like, "Yeah, it's all bullshit," and literally moved right along to like, "Okay, I'm gonna okay. have camera rice now." All or right. Whatever. So. so I got my peppers out. All right. Hold on one second. Let me get a spoon. Okay. All right. So here's my gravy. I don't want to like spill it. And then we're just going to spoon this right in the pepper. So it's okay for fill them nice. I always it's usually at least try to get one spoon in each one. Yeah. Like a nice good helping of it. Exactly. Good point. You only have that patient thank you for the super time. She was an outpatient for BPD, according to her. All right. You, you can prove it? Fine. You can't, you know what? And then some of these, like, because like some of these are smaller than the other ones. Um, but I proved myself a lot. So. I've had receipts about my medical records, and I've been in outpatient care. I showed a lot of receipts in my life. Did I get anywhere? Yes. What receipt have we ever seen besides her little... Like, these ones are kind of small. So you're just going to stuff your peckers, man. You never just stuff them. Stuff them real good. Married. You certainly never showed us any receipts about having taken the cats to the All bed. right, let's full see. Of shit, I know, Chantal. You're full of shit. And that's the only receipt we ever, ever Oops. seen from you. Okay. Everything else you've ever said is a lie. This one's a deep one. Thank you. Thank you, Melissa. Put this no, in I'm here. Even, like, I'm not even, That's what I said. I said Chantel's blood pressure is high as shit. But just another lie to add to the list is this whole bullshit of reaching 100k. And not Let's get some of that in there. Add it to the okay. Last spoon. You know, that, right? that that way Put that in there. Okay. Exactly. Well, I guess I'm going to have to take the camera off because I'm going to have to do All right. So our peppers are stuffed. One more. All right. Last step. We're going to sprinkle some if cheese. I, I was going to do a mozzarella blend too, but this is all that was in the fridge. So we're just going to sprinkle the cheese on top. Because y'all know that's what keto basically is. 
I always see, let me turn this down a little bit for a second. Let me chat with y'all as I sprinkle. I've been watching Girl World for a long time. I started watching Amber. I've watched Glitter and Lasers for, what I say, seven years, eight years. Whenever her Lula Rose shit went big is from, I watched her before then. I remember when that video came out. So I've been around for a long time. I didn't really watch Life by Jen. And there's, uh, who's that other girl? She doesn't post anymore, but she was like a heavy set girl. I want to say in like Ireland or New Zealand, or I can't remember her name now. And then there's like Life Plus Cindy. I've watched her. So I've been in like Girl World, like watching Girl World for a long time. And everybody would always be like, oh my God, look at all that cheese that Life by Jen gets and her cholesterol and this and that and blah, blah, blah. But if you do keto, what's the difference? Keto is literally meat and cheese. Like that's all it is. Like, like my fat head dough, it is mozzarella cheese. I buy skim, as much skim, like I, cause I do, I do have cholesterol issues. So I do try to watch out what I eat with like cheeses and stuff. But it's crazy because my blood work ever since gastric bypass doing a dirty keto lifestyle is better than it's ever fucking been. Do I take cholesterol medicine? Yes, but that was because when they went in, they saw I had cirrhosis of the liver. Um, I'm just gonna add some oregano on the top of my peppers. But yeah, and it's just like, I'm like, oh my God, look at all that cheese life by Jen gets and all this and all that and blah, 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 blah. But if they're doing keto, cause I remember life by Jen used to talk about chaffles all the time and used to do this, I make chaffles. Like what's the, like, I don't, if you see some skinny chick buying a fucking shit ton of cheese, why is it okay they can do it and, and we can't? Like, or they, is it because like, you know, we're chunky? Like, I, like, I don't understand. Like people get on people, like now, am I gonna sit there and microwave a plate of cheese like Chantel did? No. I better be some chips or something with it. But all right, I'm gonna put these in the oven and then these will be done when the cheese melts. So I'm gonna put these in real quick, but I'm still gonna talk to y'all because because i just think it's it's fucking ridiculous like yes life by jen had issues Chantel has issues we all fucking have issues i got issues you know what i'm saying i had a perverted fucking father i have dad issues you know what i'm saying i have all kinds of fucking issues all right so like we all have issues but it's like everybody talks about the fucking cheese like all that cheese oh my god all that cheese but if they're doing keto you go through cheese like it ain't nothing. Like I make my charcuterie boxes for me and wifey for lunch. I go through cheese. I take like two pieces of cheese and if you cut them, it looks like you have a fuck ton of cheese, but I like cut it in half and then I cut it in fourths. I get like eight slices of cheese and I'll have like 16 little, little teeny tiny pieces of cheese, but I'm like, oh my God, look at all that cheese. You know, or I take one piece of every flavor of cheese and... <laughs> I'm just like, oh my God, like that's what keto is. What's the difference between a skinny bitch doing it and a fatty doing it? If they're doing the same thing, who the fuck cares? Like, I don't know, but like they used to get on Life by Jen all the time. Her and her chaffles and like all the reaction channels, her chaffles and her cheese and her this. You've seen my grocery hauls. We always have cheese, always have cheese because that's what we eat. We eat it as a snack and hubby, that's what hubby's lunches mainly are if i have shown before on my channel from my surgery center our freaking diet plan it's like cottage cheese uh chicken and cheese strips or like whatever and you get keto books it's like cheese cottage cheese this cheese that cheese and bacon fucking bacon <laughs> like oh my god i don't know i'm sorry i just went on a rant like i said I do my own version of keto. It's not it's it's not keto all the time. Is it? No. Well, have we fallen off? Yeah, absolutely. But I own that shit. And I don't sit there and say, oh, I do keto all the time. I love a lot of keto recipes. So I don't know. It just it just drives me crazy. It drives me crazy. Oh my god, the cheese. So, um, all right, let me clean up 
and while I wait for the peppers and finish listening to Frenchie. All right, they are done and out of the oven. Okay, I just want to show you. All right, I know it's kind of hard to see, but I'm gonna just cut this. See, look at that. Look at it. Look at that. All right, let's give her a taste let's test. Do this. Let me try and get it on my folk. I can't do that big of a piece, I swear. That one vlog, I don't even remember what dinner it was, <coughs> excuse me, that I made. I'm like, how in the hell does Chantel, even Amber, shove so much fucking food in her mouth? I just, I can't. Our gastric bypass um, classes, they told us you need to chew your food 25 times. And I was doing good. You're supposed to put your fork down in between each bite. Chew 25 times. So, all right, here's my bite. It's so good. Now, also, what I would do and what I've done before is I would make cauliflower rice, steam it in the microwave and drain it really good, like squeeze the fuck out of it. I would use this and a spoon and get as much water out of it as possible and put it in with the sausage stuff. But the people in my house always wanna fight me with fucking vegetables. So, because I fight with them with vegetables, I don't do it. But, I mean, it's good just like this. But with cauliflower rice, it would be so good. And it, like, bulks it up a little bit. You know what I mean? So, and you can get the big bags of cauliflower rice from the organic kind from uh, Costco. So. It's fucking delicious. It's so good. If you make this, let me know. Comment. And let me know. Did you call me? I didn't, but dinner is ready. Okay, yeah, because I could have... That's why I yelled what? Because I could have sworn I had turned your room. Uh-uh. Yeah, no, I didn't. But dinner is ready. Okay. Actually, I'm going to have you take one up to Dad. All right, I'm going to dish out food to the locals. Go eat dinner. And then tonight's trash night, too. So we got trash... You gotta do trash. Do you see the parental abuse? My baby. My baby. My sicky poo baby. Oh my goodness. Help. Oh, my baby boy. Help. Okay. All right. Let me start dishing dinner out for everybody. Cat. Huh? Cat. It's a cat. It's a kitty cat, and I dance, 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 and I dance, dance, dance. It's a cat. It's a kitty cat, and I dance, 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 and I dance. Da Leave the ba uh. Leave the babies alone, my boy. Oh, dear my baby. He my favorite boy. They're all my favorites. Right. bags on the floor. He's just as content. Okay, lay him back down, please. He loves his bags. Easy. All right, now let me serve dinner up. <sighs> yeah, dinner was good. Um, I figure my wifey is doing ferrets and stuff before I start packing everybody's lunches and everything. I'm going to do some questions. Because why not? I'm gonna try to speed run this as best as possible. Okay, so we have February 26th, and we are on question 1,263. What do I consider to be possible? 
what do I always consider to be possible? Um, oh my God, this isn't going very fast. All right, I'm going to come back to that because I'm going to try to be, um, I'm going to try to be quick. Do I believe power corrupts? Um, yes, of course. Do I, I mean, look at Foodie Beauty, the power of the internet. Look at her. She's, well, I feel like she was corrupted even before the internet. So that's probably not a very good um, comparison. But think about certain police officers. I'm not saying all, just some, because some get that power. And, you know, or a certain boss at work, like you can get a boss at work and then they get promoted. And then all of a sudden it's like, a, a switch is flicked and they just become a raging fucking lunatic so yes power corrupts do i practice what i preach not always and that's that's honest like i try to like be whatever but you know it's like i always try to be kind and thoughtful and considerate of other people but there's sometimes I just get in a mood and it's just like, like I would still never be like a horrid person, but you know, sometimes I'm just like, ugh, you know, I just don't want to be nice, but then I don't have the balls to not be nice because I know that I believe in karma. So I feel like whatever I dish out is going to come back to me. So yeah, like, and as far as certain things, like my home life isn't ideal you know, my living situation and relationship situations aren't ideal for most people. And sometimes it's not ideal for me. It drives me fucking crazy. But then, like I said, we all had a conversation. We all chit chatted and communication is key. But when nobody wants to communicate, it gets rough. So there's that. Um, how do I prepare myself for challenges? <sighs> I stress. That is how I prepare. I stress. I overthink. There's no preparing. There's no preparing. I overthink everything. I stress over everything. I'm a worry wart. It's, it's madness. What's the last present someone got me? Oh, what did somebody get me? Why he brought me a diet Pepsi cherry? That was a little present. Um, but as far like a present, I mean, other than Christmas, um, that's all I can think of right now. What's the last, okay, um, I'll just say a, a soda. That was a present for me. What would I do if I were president? Keep everything in the States. Um, keep it in the country. That's what I would do. I don't, wouldn't want to get involved in anything. But, like, we have a nation that we need to take care of. I understand that your country is hurting and you need help and stuff, but so does our home people. Like, our people here need help and our people, we have veterans on the streets and we have this and we have that. So we need to, you know what I'm saying? What caused me to put pressure on myself recently? Um, just... To get shit done, as always. What's something pretty I've seen recently? Oh, there's this artwork. I actually made it my... Um, hold on. I've actually made it my profile picture. Um, or not my profile picture, my... Um, oh, did I delete? Look at this my screensaver I didn't want to make it for um my regular phone because of the kids at work I don't know who the artist is but oh my god it's just so stunning I put it on my um Instagram there was another one I saw and I added it to my Instagram um do I do I still oh yeah here it is right here I put this one on my Insta I just thought they were so beautiful like so that's what I think is pretty but I don't know who the artwork is I just thought it was gorgeous. How do I prevent myself from getting bitter about the world? Ignore it. You can't be bitter about what you don't know. 
and that might be ignorant, but, um, ignore it. What's the best price I've ever negotiated? I didn't really negotiate. I told this story before. So when I was younger, so I had my first full-time job when I was 15. I dropped out of school. And um, so the reason why I had dropped out of school, my mom had cancer. And school really wasn't, it's so weird because I'm teaching in a school. But um, I had dropped out, my mom had got really sick. She had cancer, she had ovarian, cervical, and uterine cancer, it spread. And so she had to have like a hysterectomy and stuff like that. And then she still had to get like these like treatments and like radiation. She had like this refrigerated shit. It was just like wild. So I stayed and then like she had foot surgery like right after that. And so she wasn't working and they were drowning financially. And so I was just like, okay. And uh, I was taking off, like taking off and not going to school like once or twice a week. And then when I would go to go to school, I would literally sneak. I, I ta just recently told the story how we would hide under the bridge until the guidance counselor made his rounds. And then we'd go up and walk down through the housing complex to go up to the other bus stop because we knew he was circling, you know? So why he never went down the other way, unless he did and we just never caught him, you know? Um, but yeah, so uh, I dropped out of school and all that good stuff. And I went to work full time and my mom's like, the first check you ever make, you can do whatever you want. After that, you start paying rent, you start paying bills, whatever it is. So I was like, okay. So my first paycheck, I always wanted a five disc CD changer. Like, I know that's like not, not this was like 1996, you know what I'm saying? Like 95, 96. And, um, so my mom had to sign papers for me to work and I could like work full time and like all this other shit. And, um, I was working and I wanted, like I said, I wanted a nice stereo. I want, it had a record player, AUX, it had dual cassette tapes, bass booster, all this shit. Five disc changer. That's all I wanted. I wanted to be able to put all my POC CDs or all my Wu-Tang and just shuffle and just listen to whatever I wanted. And, um, we went to Montgomery Wards and we went up there and they had, I think it was like a hundred and something dollars. And so I was just like, oh my God, a hundred dollars for this. And the guy saw, I was like, yeah, I was like, there's only one left. Like, can we get the stereo for like $150? And he's like, yeah, yeah. You know, and I was telling him like, oh, it's my first paycheck and it's the first thing I've ever bought with it. And I'm just, he's like, oh, that's, you know, that's so special. And like, we were talking and he's like, do you want a cart? You want us to take it out for you? We were like, no. I'm good. I'll carry it. As we were walking out and going down to the escalators, there was a whole end cap of them. And they were, it was like a $300 stereo. So we didn't really negotiate. It was the guy's fault. But that was like the best price I ever got in on anything. And you figure back in 1995, 1996, like this shit was, that was expensive. Like that was expensive. And I had that fucking stereo up until last year. It still played. I still played it. I still rocked with it. I still have my tapes in it. Have I ever been to a private beach? Yes. Actually, we have a family. My family has like a beach house. It's actually my guys, my dad's side of the family. We have a family beach house in New York. And it's down on Long Island. And um, it's actually um, in Springs, New York. And... Uh, it has its own beach and everything like that. So, yes, I've been to a private beach. Like, I don't go up there. I think the last time I went up there is when Brayden was two. That was the last time I've been up there. And then Sandy came and, like, did a lot of damage to it. But And, like, the beach is, like... I remember when I was little going there as a kid. And the water was, like, all the way out. And there was, like, a rock that I used to stand on. I'd swim up and, like, stand up on it and jump in the water. That rock is, like, so far out now. Like, you can't even, like, walk down to it anymore. What is probably the best thing that happened to most people? Actually, uh, I feel like getting 
finding what they want like as if it's a relationship or a job or whatever I think the best thing is whatever their dreams are comes true what kind of problem solver am I um an overthinking one <laughs> I don't only say that because I overthink every situation and I try to solve everything, but sometimes I make things worse. Um, but I really try to look at everything and I really do try like whatever the situation is, is I try to really look at the, like really look at the situation, like look at everything, like research and stuff. Is there a process I tried to skip but realized I couldn't? Um, yeah, but I don't really want to talk about that. There's one particular thing that happened, and I but that I don't want to put that on out there on the internet. What is the one product I wish I didn't have to buy? If I still had my period, I would say probably pads like I think most women would agree like I feel like they should be because it's something we can't help you know what I mean unless there's like a particular kind or something but I feel like they should be you know not free but regulated somehow you know what I'm saying like that's that's just what I think um I wish I didn't have to buy. I wish I didn't have to buy. Like, I guess, like, are they talking, like, necessity-wise? Like, food. I wish I didn't have to buy food. I wish I could just go get it. <laughs> That's not. Um. I don't know. That One thing, well, that's buy. I was going to say doctor's visit. Or medicines medicines and supplies how about that what teacher or professor professor <laughs> has had a great impact on my life in my life what teacher or professor so I still remember I don't remember her name but I remember it was my ninth grade English teacher and I had gotten kicked out and I had to go to night school for a semester because I got expelled from school in ninth grade. And um, I liked night school so much better. And she was my English teacher and poetry was my favorite. When we got to poetry, I remember her telling me, she's like, you have a gift she was just like I don't know like she told me not to sleep on it but I didn't listen but she would tell me things that I probably should have listened to but I didn't because I was a stupid kid um but I think about her often and I remember I entered do you guys remember Montel Williams he used to do this poetry contest and I, I entered in this poetry contest and I got tickets to go to New York to recite my poem. My mom still has the book. Oh, I should ask her if I can have it. But my mom wouldn't let me go. And I remember telling my ninth grade teacher, like I vaguely remember telling her. And I remember her saying something along the lines, like people who you think are your biggest supporters are like your biggest, I mean, not, I guess whatever word we, I mean, we wouldn't have said haters back then, but, um, I don't know what, I don't remember, I just remember her saying something about, like, basically people who support you, like, sometimes in disguise, they're actually, like, 
the big like they're full of jealousy or something like that and I remember at one point I used to feel like and even my girlfriend used to say she's like Ray I used to think that your mom was always jealous of you and when I was little me and my dad had a good relationship until they started getting weird and doing inappropriate things and making inappropriate comments that I just it makes me uncomfortable and um I'm like getting sick to my stomach even thinking about it but yeah so uh, it is I guess it is what it is <coughs> but I don't know she always encouraged me she's like you have a gift you can write but I didn't want to write stories. Like, I remember um, when one of our projects was um, we had to finish. We, we, we read this novel. And I remember it was about a kid wanting to play basketball. And the assignment was there was no end chapter. You had to write the final chapter. And I remember it had to be like a minimum of like three pages front and back and like so many words. I wrote like 15 pages front and back and I remember when I turned it in um she read it and she's like can I hold on to this she's like because you've just set the bar for next year because yeah I remember common core and all that wasn't around and she was like this is phenomenal like this is this is amazing and she kept it, and that is what got me to pass English in ninth grade. She gave me a fuck ton of extra credit for it. And she was like, I wrote so much, and it was good. She says, like, I, she's like, right, she's like, you really have something. She's like, don't be afraid, you know, whatever. And I was just like, eh. you know, like, mm, okay, like, whatever, you know, but... I don't know. So I'm just going to put my ninth grade English teacher. All right. Again, what do I always consider to be possible? I guess anything. And I can turn anything into a cupcake. <laughs> All right. So those are my questions and I'm going to go finish watching FFG's live stream and start making everybody's lunches, start cleaning up for the night, make my protein shake, and then maybe I can get some of my fucking laundry put away. Mm, I just hit my tooth. So I will see you soon. All right, friends, there is a brownie bandit in my house. So, Braden came up to me and asked me if he could have a brownie. And I said, um, sure. I said, but let's get trash and stuff out. So, we went and we took trash out. I came back in the house. I took the um, chocolate pudding mixture out of the freezer so it would, like, thaw a little bit. And I had to put it in the microwave to thaw out the stuff that I made yesterday. And I took the brownies out of the microwave because that's where I like I store like our like candies or not candies but like cakes and stuff like that or like brownies like snacky stuff. There was only two left. Well, when I cut them, I cut them in eighths, and I'm like, so yesterday, me, wifey, and Braden had one, so there was five left. And then when I opened up, there's only two. So I text wifey. I said, did you have a brownie today? She said, I did. I asked Brayden. I said, did you have a brownie today? He said, yeah, I only had one. I said, so where's the other one? I said, there's only two left. There should have only, there should have still been three in here. And he's like, oh, no, I don't know. I know he had to take it. Out. Don't lie about it. All right. So I got hubby's lunch pack. One protein shake. Two protein shakes. And we have kielbasa, shrimp salad, cottage cheese with apple butter, and then his hard-boiled eggs, cheese.
cheese sticks, cheese, ham. So, Cubby's lunch is packed. And also, I'm going to throw in his lunch box. Uh, I gotta see if he has one, but he has like some tuna fish in there too. Alright friends, it is that time. I'm gonna pack ew, my lunch. Do I want this? Or should I do some of that? I don't know. What Nixie boo? Oh my goodness. Cause do we still have some? Um Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. So let me start brewing <clears throat> the coffee for my protein shake. Start doing that. God damn, walking into Nick's is like walking into a brick wall. I swear to God. Like it's just a dead stop. For real. So my goal was to get upstairs by 10 o'clock. But my stomach's been like a little upset. And I've gone to the bathroom a lot. I don't know if it was from that. The only thing I ate different that I haven't had in like a while is the Pop Tart. It's either that or the salad. But something is making my tummy upset. And I'm not quite sure what it is. So, because my tummy, I have had the bubble guts all night. Nick, uh, who are you? Callie, come on. Okay, and my lunch goes my Pepsi. I think I have to refill those soon. I take a B12 every day at lunch. I'm going to get a Nanner because I eat this in between classes. When we go to specials, I stop in the break room and I grab it from my lunch box. And then for a little sweet treat after my lunch, I'm going to put one of these in there. And that's it. My lunch is packed. Let me grab my shaker bottle. And, oh my God, I'm afraid to pour my, because I have cats all around me. Who has to have all these cats? All right, so we're doing peppermint because that's all we have right now. But wifey said that our skinny syrup order should be here. Nick say. Okay. They want treats. Okay, here. Oh my goodness, I just, here. tail cracks me up because her tail goes straight up in the air. She just gets so happy. It's like a flagpole. Easy. She just like choked or something. Nixie, are you all right? too damn fast. All right. Dishwasher is going. All right, let me throw this away. All right. Protein bottle. Protein shake. I'm sticking down there. Okay. Let me pick up the cat's bowls because I like to sit them in the sink so at night or in the morning when I wake up, they don't have dirty bowls. And I just take the little rag 
and um, stop swatting at me. And just wipe the bowls out. And they have nice clean bowls. But see, nobody wants to eat off out of a dirty bowl. I'm gonna leave. We have a ton of brown bags on our kitchen floor. The cats play in them. It's fine. Oh, sorry, Nix. See, all, all these brown bags. There's one over there, one there, one there, one over here. They live their best life. What can I say? All right. That's a wrap, folks. I'm gonna go upstairs. I have 20 minutes. I could put laundry away for like 20 minutes. I gotta get my son off the Xbox. Brayden, wrap it up. So, can't leave these out. In case you didn't know, if you ever notice cats go stro like super crazy over strawberries, do you know why they go like super insane over strawberries? Strawberries are part of the catnip family. If you didn't know, now you know. And the cats freaking go crazy for strawberries. So on that note, my friends, I'm going, I'm gonna go to bed. So please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And as always, please be calm because you don't know what kind of battle someone's going through. So don't be a dick. <laughs> I love you guys all oh so, 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 oh so very much. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye guys, I love you and have a great day. Evening, nighttime, afternoon, tea time, gym time, GTO. Okay. All right guys, bye. bye.